how we can apprehend through that vision. But actually, we can't apprehend anything what would happen to us after our death. That is higher vision. That is Dibbaja. Ojutu Vatanya. Your eye will be developed into Jutu Vatanya, clairvoyance, if you help the others through gain, gaining wisdom through your eye. If you practice that, actually in the future, future your eye would be developed into, transform into eye of wisdom, not only eye of wisdom, but clairvoyance also, so that you would be able to understand your whole samsaric journey. If you are possible to understand the whole samsaric journey, actually that would be a shortcut to curtail, minimize your journey. Now you are not expected to expand your samsaric journey, but you want to minimize limitations of your, because all that you have got to know the sorrowful conditions of samsara. Actually, rebirth, process of rebirth is bringing sorrow. That is the genuine truth revealed by the people. Now, if you are capable to experience that, when you venerate the Dhamma, Pachattam Vedita Go the Buddha's teachings can, should be apprehended through one's own experiences, not only through listening. Listening is also necessary and at the same time actually association with the vice is also necessary. Putting the Buddha's doctrine into practice is also necessary. But actually experiencing one's own life, peeping into one's own life is also very, very necessary. Now when you are watching the face of the Buddha actually he is watching himself, peeping into one's own, own life. But if you go to the church, I am not criticizing the church Christianity, actually the Jesus Christ is always he is watching the world. Here world means in Buddhism actually one's internal world, fivefold sensory organs, you are eye, eye here, and so on, and relative of the relevant objects. You know relevant object, Aramana in Pali language. Eh? The relevant object of I is C or sight. The relevant object of ear is the uh, sound, like that actually, and relevant consciousness. So when these three factors get together, Actually, that is the internal world. We are peeping into that internal world. Belonging to me. What is Buddha is doing there? The statue of the Buddha also depicting the same posture actually. Not peeping, not watching the world, material world, but peeping into the one's own world, internal world. Whoever understands the reality of the internal world, actually he can understand the whole material. Buddha is not paying attention to the material world, but internal world. Those who are capable to understand the internal world, he is understood persons the, about the material world was. No anxiety to understand the material world. Therefore, the fathom long body is included dukkha, sorrow, cause of sorrow also. And cessation of sorrow nibbana is also included in the fathom long body. And the path leading to the cessation of sorrow, the middle path is also included in the fathom long body. So when one is understood one's own fathom long body, he is understood the whole Buddha's teachings. So therefore meditation is necessary, reminding one's own quality. Maybe the actions and reactions of one's mind, one's body, impurities of the body, and that is kaya and vasana, 
चित्तान पासना में माइंड एंड वेदनान पासना फीलिंग्स हाउ द फीलिंग्स इन वन्स ओन लाइफ आर ऑपरेटेड फंक्शन एंड दमान पासना फिनोमिना द ओल लाइफ इज आल्सो रिगार्डेड एज द फिनोमिना पापंचय पाल so like that actually so i am taking effort to denote some factors connected with the generosity how it becomes turning point starting point to develop other spiritual qualities so therefore here in your center actually uh, i am very happy to visit here so i need not to explain further despite further the time is 9:30 now actually when i have an opportunity on other occasion i will expand my next week actually i will expand my sermon further right so actually this is not only teaching of the buddha to youth yasa actually there is very big teaching big sermon there
what is the reason for